Welcome back, everyone, to another edition of Rudy's Rant. Powered by Come On Now, the podcast. I am your host, Rudy Rodriguez Shomat. I got a rant for you today. I was actually about to work on a couple of other videos, but the ratings dropped for the WNBA Finals Game 5. And they're shockingly great. And I'm going to, I was about, and I would congratulate them. But the ratings are a fraud. You heard it. The ratings are a fraud. They're a scam. And I'm going to tell you why. But before we jump in, thank you for our continued subscribers and our followers. <clears throat> we greatly appreciate you. We thank you for your continued support of this channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, and you're new to it, please subscribe now. And also, folks, become a member as we'll be dropping membership content in the very near future. We want to build it up before I start dropping stuff in there. So become a member today and support Come On Now, the podcast, and become part of this family. Also, if you have not done so yet, go to our other channel, Rudy's Rant on YouTube, where I'm doing a lot of different things in terms of ranting. There will be some actual individual rants, but it will also be a lot of reactive uh, content to other people's videos and what they've got to say about things and give our, our feedback to them. So check it out. They're, they're very, very detailed. They can be lengthy. So understand that I'm going all in on this one, baby. <clears throat> Let's talk about these ratings, the WNBA ratings. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Wow, wow, wow. <clears throat> you know, you, you want to give credit and you want to say, Bravo. <clears throat> I, I was impressed. The first few games, they were, in terms of ratings, people watched. They didn't watch like they watched Caitlin Clark, but they watched. They broke numbers last year because of Caitlin Clark, but they still watched. <clears throat> the ratings came out, and here are the ratings for. Boom. Let's just uh, Liberty's overtime win over the Minnesota Lynx in a winner take all game five, delivering 2.15 million viewers. That's also ESPN Airwaves, second best WNBA playoff game all time, behind 2.54 million <clears throat> for game two. Of the Connecticut Sun Indiana Fever first round series this year, Caitlin Clark's last game of her rookie season. Impressive. Congratulations. Sounds awesome. All that is great, right? I mean, mind you, the game five of the winner take all finals did less than a first round game two for game for Caitlin Clark, but hey, that's neither here nor there. That's just being, I mean, I, I, I don't know. But it's all fraud. Here's why it's all a fraud. Because YouTube TV, a sponsor of the WNBA, logo on the court, clearly a TV partner for the WNBA, did something this weekend. And I and you know, I, I wonder if they did it in their other games as well. I just didn't notice because I don't typically do the multi-screen thing unless it's just football. If you look behind me, I have a 75 inch and then I have two 43 inch TVs up top. I don't have to share screens or, or split screens to watch games. I, watch, I, can, I can watch three games at the same time. But if I'm gonna watch a finals game and I'm gonna be able to talk about it, I have to be able to watch it. So I'm not splitting screens. I don't really care for the NFL all that much. You know, people will say, oh, you don't like football. No, I love football. <clears throat> I don't like the NFL. <clears throat> I, I don't like the NFL at all. I, I, I love college football. I watch six college football games on, on Saturday. I love college football. NFL football, a lot to be desired. I don't like the rules in either of these, in either college or NFL. Now. I think the, the games are completely soft, um, marshmallow level, and I, and I don't enjoy watching them in terms of, you can't hit, you can't tackle, you can't crack back, you can't blindside block, you, you can't do much of anything. And, and, and if you do, you get a call for a personal foul, and it has changed the, the dynamic of the game. All that said, 
I don't have to split screens. And I don't, I didn't notice if there was a split screen situation because I have YouTube TV. I cut the cord. YouTube TV <clears throat> decided that in multi view, the only option <clears throat> that YouTube would provide, YouTube TV provided, was to have whether it was the baseball playoffs, which were the Mets and the Dodgers on Sunday night, or Sunday night football, which was the Jets. Was it the Jets? It was the Jets. The Jets and the uh, Steelers. So you have all kinds of stuff going on where people are voicing how disgusted they are that in order for them to split screen the TV, if you want to split screen with two screens, the baseball game and the football game, you couldn't do it. If you wanted to split screen, if you want, you couldn't split screen other things. The only thing you can split screen, every single option for split screen of TV included the WNBA Finals Game 5. What does that mean? That means this, these ratings are fake. They're fugazi. They're fraud. They're forced. People were forced to watch the game. People were forced to have it on. And the game sucked. The game sucked. I think we've d determined that already in multiple videos. The game as a as a if this was an event that you paid to go to and you walked away saying, man, that was amazing, you're on drugs. It was terrible. It was bad basketball. It was horrendously officiated. It's a clear, there's a clear scam there. It's a clear fraud. The game was rigged. Yes, it was rigged for the Liberty to win. I've already done another video on it showing the 30 fouls or so that didn't get called. And even if you chop that number in half to 20, 15 or 20, Chop it down to 15 or 20. Half would be 15. Chop it down to 15 or 20. That still gives the Blinks a victory by double digits because they've been at the on, on the line shooting free throws in the bonus in the first half. I counted 16 fouls in the first half that went on called on the New York Liberty. I counted seven shooting fouls in the game that went on uncalled on the New York Liberty. Four of them were on Nafisa Collier. Two of them were on Kayla McBride. And one of them was on Alana Smith. <clears throat> and they were clear. And I broke it down. So if you haven't seen that video, go check it out. But this shit right here, this is from OutKick. And I know OutKick is anti-WNBA to people. And people will say, well, they're anti-WNBA. No, this is, an this is anti-bullshit is what it is. See, this is a world that we live in that where now everything has to be covered in dillies, roses and, lit and, and daisies and, and sprinkled with sugar and cream and all that stuff. Everything has to be sweet. Nothing is real. Nothing is real. You've been telling us how much people want to watch this game. And now I did, I, I don't know what happened in the first four games because I didn't notice it, nor did I check for it. But if you're a football fan and you wanted to watch football and baseball and they were telling you, no, sorry, look at this. And this is just an example of the shit show that the WNBA is because they want to tell you how great the product is when the product is utter garbage. It's still trash. We've told you it's trash. And game five was the epitome of the worst basketball game I've ever seen. I've ever seen from a from a from a complete standpoint of bad refereeing, bad play, missed easy buckets, inability to hit wide open shots, missed layups, obviously, turnovers. You have a, a game that had a team score 27 points in the first half. Another scored 26 in the second half. The game was 60 to 58. I have a fly flying around. Where the hell did it come from? 60 to 58 with five and a half seconds to go in the game. That's a those are facts. You had a player who's considered an all-world player to some, not to me, who shot one for 19 and then rolled around on the ground like she did something special. And saying, we did it. Man, you didn't do shit. You were terrible. You didn't do shit. We? Yeah, they did it. In fact, 
The we should be John Quell Jones, Nayara Savali, or Savali, and Leonie, fin Leonie uh, Finch. Is that her name? Finch. Uh, I don't know. I don't care. Let me, let me, let me say, I don't want to insult. Leonie, Leonie Finch. I don't call her Finch, but Finch. John Quell Jones, Leonie Fibich, and Naira Savali. Those are the three players that can say, we did it. The rest of y'all, including Brianna Stewart, including Sabrina Ionesco, you didn't do nothing. And listen to Brianna Stewart in a post-game interview where she says, I'm so glad we could bring, you know, <clears throat> in her very, very masculine voice, you know, to bring a championship to New York. Brianna, you you play like utter garbage for, for four of the five games. You play like trash. You shot 32.6% over five games. The last two, you were nine of 36. That's 25%. You sucked. You sucked. I don't hear about your defensive fouling. Yeah, you foul. You foul a lot. They let you get away with it. John Cole Jones fouls a lot. They let her get away with it. Sabrina fouls a lot. They let her get away with it. Thornton fouls every play. They let her get away with it. Savali fouled a bunch of times. Let her get away with it. And now you want to tell me that the ratings were 2.15 million viewers? And these are the different tweets you got? This is an example of someone posting, the WNBA is a mess. <clears throat> I will share this with you so you can get your viewing. You can laugh. You can get a laugh at it. Do, 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 do. Okay, you're going to tell me these are the example best of, two This is an example of the beginning basketball? of the fourth quarter. This is as good bad. as it gets, huh? Let's just watch this entire sequence. A brick, an air ball. All right. Push the ball up. The air balls happen. That's okay. Air balls happen. Let's see what this point God does here. Point God. Air ball. All right. air ball. There's two. Watch here. A turnover. Inescu, she's a legend, right? A legend. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Stuck in the corner. Turnover. This, this is game five. This is the final game of the WNBA finals. Turnover. <laughs> the best of the best. Yeah. Face says it all. So let's continue. Um, let's continue. Were you given the option? This is on Outkick. Were you given the option to opt out of the WNBA? Hell no, you weren't. YouTube TV had sponsorship all over that product. You, you'll put the WNBA on your screen and like it. Did YouTube TV, who has an estimated 8 million plus subscribers, game the TV ratings? That's for you to decide. I report, you decide. Yeah, they did. And while YouTube TV doesn't have the type of subscription and membership that cable TV does naturally and direct TV and whatever, and I'm not going to sit here and say that 2.15 wasn't close to what the number was, but it definitely wasn't the real number if you're forcing people to watch. If you're forcing people to watch, I would venture to guess 20% of the viewership is fake. 20% of the viewership, 20, 25%. Now, I would still leave them a great number, 1.7, 1.8. Great number for the WNBA. If you had told me they would do 1.8 in any game with these two teams, I'd tell you, you're crazy. And I said it beforehand. So, so kudos to them for that. Kudos. But don't, don't manipulate the ratings. <clears throat> Here's just different posts. So wanting to watch MLB and NFL on multi-view on YouTube TV but forcing me to have the WNBA on even though I don't want to watch it. Remember, when you do multi-view, if it's two, two games, it's side by side. If it's three, it's two up top and one on the bottom. Not everyone wants to watch it that way. Not everyone wants to have that on their, on their screen because it could be distracting. You don't know. They don't want to watch it. YouTube, I see on the court, YouTube TV is a sponsor, and they will be able to report larger numbers of views for the WNBA game. Shame. Here's another one. See? This guy put a sweater over the WNBA thing. And, and again, he may not even want wanted to have that thing under. He might want to have these two side by side right there in the middle of his TV, right here. 
you might want to have it side by side, right? You know, so when you have that, you have those two, those two games up top, you might want to have them side by side in the middle of the screen. Instead, he has football on the bottom, baseball on the top. And I watched the baseball game. I had all, I had all three on because I got three TVs. And I did watch the WNBA game from, from beginning to end because I wanted to be able to talk about it in, in an intellectual and educated manner and not just read stat boxes. But the YouTube TV wants me wants me to watch WNBA on multi-view option in order to watch NLCS and Saturday, Sunday Night Football. That literally They literally have to force their ratings. No thanks. So he covers the screen with his with a sweater. <clears throat> the woke say quit being a misogynist for not wanting the WNBA on your screen. Over on the woke utopia of Reddit, the wokes have a message for reasonable people who want to know why viewers can't just watch the sports they want to watch in multi view. I agree with that. I want to know why I got, and this goes on for all sports. Like it, it, they do this on, on 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 college football too. Where they just give you a, a such a section of games, and I don't want to watch all these games. I want to watch certain other games. Like if I do that on the big screen, I'll put four. But I want to watch different. I don't want to watch the games they're telling me to watch. So I don't like that shit <clears throat> on the personal level. I think you'll just to choose the four games you want to watch, or three or two or whatever it is. They say, then go to a different provider, maybe one who isn't sponsoring the WNBA finals. Guess what? When I got YouTube TV about, I don't know, six years ago, the WNBA wasn't a spot. The YouTube TV was not a sponsor of the WNBA. You want facts? Those are facts. YouTube TV was not a sponsor of the WNBA when I got YouTube TV. Hell, YouTube TV, when I got YouTube TV, was $45.99. That motherfucking bullshit cost almost a hundred dollars a month now. Is six years, seven years. Been living here for seven years. I got YouTube TV about six years ago when Comcast Xfinity Comcast did not have the ACC network on their list of channels. No matter what you did, they had no ACC network. And yet, I'm a Hurricanes fan, so I want to watch the Hurricanes on the ACC because. They're throwing all the Hurricanes games at the time on the ACC network because the Hurricanes weren't very good, but they're putting them on the ACC network. And I want to watch the Canes, so I got to go watch the ACC network. That is why I officially cut the cord from cable and went over to the ACC network. Now, I still had a, a basic Comcast plan, Xfinity plan, because my HOA uh, has a contract with them, so I get it for free. It's part of my HOA fees. And I also get my internet through through them. So that's fine. And now we're with Hotwire, and Hotwire is an unmitigated disaster, in my opinion. But that's another that's another song for another song for another day in terms of their internet. Their cable is actually fine, believe it or not. But and they give more channels than, than Xfinity was. But that's why I switched and got YouTube TV. And it was $45. I was paying almost 300 bucks a month for all these extra boxes and bullshit with Comcast, you know, Xfinity, whatever you want to call it. I cut like six years ago. It was $45.99. Shit's almost $100 now. And YouTube TV was not sponsoring the WNBA. So don't tell me to go find a different provider because the W the YouTube wants to stuff it. YouTube TV, TV wants to stuff this down our throats. How about you give us the option? What if what what if I forced you to watch football and you didn't want to watch it? What if I forced you to watch basketball, men's basketball, NBA, and you didn't want to watch it? What if I forced you to watch baseball and you didn't want to watch it? But the only way you could watch the game you want to watch in a split format is if that other game is on your screen. You wouldn't like it. You, and why should anyone else have to deal with that bullshit? <clears throat> Another one says, it's the last WNBA game of the season. Just deal with it. Another woke wrote. You get the idea. Instead of allowing the consumer to enjoy a night in front of the TV, the wokes wanted to make it absolute hell on those trying to live life. Why don't you just tape up a piece of paper over the women that you that way you won't have to be so triggered? Affectionate pipe three three typed three three oh typed. We've tried to warn you over and over. The woke mob will not stop until they ruin your life in multiple ways. Let this be a lesson that there's no rest with these people. And here are other comments. YouTube TV, why am I forced to watch WNBA on multi-view? Enough with the woke agenda. Let me watch what I want to. Charging me 70 plus a month. I pay more than 70 a month. 
and I can't pick my screens. That's despicable. Can't split screen Sunday night football and the NLCS without being force fed WNBA. No option to have it there. Why then? Why that when they claim to have a ratings boost, this is why. It is why. You notice it. You have WNBA, WM, MLB, WNBA, NFL. Baseball, WNBA. Like you don't have the option. These are fake ratings. YouTube TV, no one wants your woke. Bullshit pushed down our throat, a.k.a. not a single effing person wants to watch the WNBA in multi-view. What a joke. MLB playoffs and Sunday Night Football is the only multi-view option we want. And I would agree with that. You want to know why? Because the people that really want to watch the WNBA are not watching NFL and MLB. They just aren't. I watched it because I had to talk about it. But if you ask me what I would have rather had on my big screen, it would be the baseball game. I'd rather put the baseball game. And, and then I'd have the other two TVs probably off. NFL game didn't matter to me. Like I said, I don't really care about NFL football. It was, it was just, it's on in the background. LMAO, YouTube TV is forcing WNBA to be one of your views in multi-view. And people are irate. And you see it right here again. And then you see people on their, their, their posts on the right. YouTube TV won't let me watch Sunday night football and baseball at the same time without WNBA finals. Also, modern problems require modern modern solutions. Drop a curtain. And I, and I don't think people truly understand that it's not about it's. If I don't want to watch it and you're in sports, I got to be able to pay attention to sports. Most people who are sports enthusiasts and avid sports watchers, they want to watch what they want to watch. If they want to watch three games, they'll have three games. If they just want to watch two, they don't want that other one distracting them from the first two that they're watching. I keep saying that. I I, I watched four events at the same time about two weeks ago, and I can tell you that I didn't watch any of them because I was so all over the place that by the time they, when, I, when I needed to talk about them, like I don't remember what the hell happened. And one of the events was an event I was going to do a podcast on, and I couldn't. Because I don't remember what the hell happened. I wasn't watching closely enough to know what happened. This was in the Bivol Bertovic fight, you know, the, the boxing match with uh, with Bivol. I couldn't even do a combat corner because I didn't know what happened. I saw the fight. I was watching it, but I wasn't watching watching it. Like I usually score the fights. I usually take notes during fights, but I'm watching three football games at the same time. It's a bad idea. YouTube TV forcing us to watch the WNBA game in multi view was whack. I keep looking at the score and both teams averaging like 12 points a quarter or something. <clears throat> Anyhow, that about sums it up. I mean, this is from Outkick. I'll, I'll click the link and I'll put the link in the description of the bio here. Uh, this is pathetic. This is pathetic. You can take your 2.15 million and shove it up your ass. It's fake. It's absolute garbage. It's garbage. It's garbage. Just like their game is garbage. It's it's sad because, yeah, they were going to do better. You can just leave it alone. You had to try to bluff it. You had to try to stat pad it. Doesn't that sound right? YouTube TV is stat padding the WNBA Game 5 Finals for a fake, not even record number. At least. At least get the record. At least break Caitlin Clark's second game in the first round. At least do that. You couldn't even do that. Ain't that some shit? You cheated, you padded, and you couldn't even get the record. Congratulations, ladies. You did a great job. YouTube TV should have left well enough alone and allowed you to do it on your merit. They want instead they wanted to stick their nose in it and wow, make it about themselves. They wanted to make it about themselves because they're a sponsor of the WNBA now. But according to Reddit, we're supposed to get rid of the, YouTube TV because they're sponsors. Really? So 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 what's next? A television show? If I want to watch two TV shows at the same time, which is probably harder to do because you can't have volume on both, 
But if I wanted to, are you going to force a certain show down my throat next? It's crazy, man. It's crazy. WNBA, YouTube, WNBA will go through any means to, to commit a, to be fraudulent, to scam you, to lie to you. This is what they do. And you think this is by accident? This was, a, this was done in cahoots. They're not. WNBA by, by no means is innocent in this. This is about them and, the, and YouTube TV coming together to say, this is what you're going to do. And they did it. It's not, it's, it's, this, is, this, this lacks so much integrity. This is so unethical. But what's new to be what's what's new from the, the from the woke League of America, the platform politi- political League of America? This is it. This is what they do. And then you'll be the misogynist because you don't want to watch it. Really? What is a misogynist again? I'll wait for the just for the actual definition. Yeah, because apparently men hate women now because they don't want to watch basketball with women. <laughs> what? Leave your thoughts in the comments, man. We practice facts of our feelings here on Rudy's Rant. Power by Come On Now, the podcast. Be sure to subscribe and, of course, go on over to Rudy's Rant and subscribe over there as well. I thank you for your continued support of our channel. Facts of our feelings. Come on now.